Yeah, dude, there's no way I can beat him. His UTR is like 0 0.0197 higher than mine. I have no chance. What's up everyone? Karu here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today I'm gonna give you five tips on how to beat a better tennis player. Before we begin, I just wanna give a shout out to everyone who subscribed this past couple weeks. We've seen an amazing growth and it's really pumping us up uh, to keep creating content for you. And if you're not subscribed yet, yet, please give a subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you end up liking the video, please give it a thumbs up. So let's get back to the video. So in this quick video, I just wanna to touch on the subject of beating someone who's better than you, right? I think a lot of matches are actually won before uh, the match is even played, especially if someone is playing someone who's um, a ranked much higher than them. They already kind of get on the court. I, I want to say, I don't want to say defeated, but that's that's how pretty much um, tennis goes at, at all levels, not just at the club or juniors, you know, even in the pros. And sometimes the, the level difference is going to be too high that there's nothing really you can do if you're in a situation where you are the lower level player. But there are ways that you can make the match much more competitive than you expected. And that's what I wanna show today. Obviously there are no guarantees. None of these tips are gonna make you all of a sudden beat everyone you haven't been beating, uh, but they might give you um, a little bit of an extra chance of doing so. So let's get to them. So tip number one is don't overplay. I think a lot of the times we, we get on the court, we're gonna play someone who is you know better than us and we think that we have to play the best match of our lives. We start going for shots that we really never go for, and we just make more mistakes. We end up making more mistakes, and the person on the other side, who's already thought they were gonna win, um, they're just kinda looking at you as like, well, this guy's just making a lot of mistakes. I'm gonna keep the ball in play, and that's all I, all I have to do. So first tip is don't overplay. Play the game you know how to play. Focus on your side. Don't focus on this guy's better, this and that and make sure you do the things that you know how to do. Maybe that's that's just, you know, hitting cross courts. Whatever it is that you have that you can work on, uh, work with um, that day, use it. Don't try to go for broke because that's just not gonna work. Unless you play pretty much the match of your life, um, you're probably gonna end up losing and losing even more easily because you're doing things that you, you've never done. So keep it simple, don't overplay and you're gonna have a better chance of winning. So tip number two is consistency, okay? Obviously, if you're playing someone who's much better than you, they're probably gonna be a little more consistent than you, but you have to try to make as many balls as you can. Uh, kinda goes with what I just say, said, don't overplay and stay consistent. Make them play a lot. Make them have to hit an extra ball every rally. Yeah, you still might lose 0 and 0, but you make them work for every point and you give yourself more chances of winning, not more games, but more points. Give yourself the chance of winning more points, make it hit a mistake. Because again, um, tennis at the lower level, um, at 99% of tennis is um, whoever misses less ends up winning the match. At the top, top ATP, top WTA, top college tennis, yeah, who's a little bit more aggressive might uh, rip some rewards, but in in any other level, even high level juniors, sometimes the guy who's just more consistent wins um, more. So if you're able to keep that ball in play, work with whatever you have. If you can only hit cross court, only hit cross court, kind of keep the ball in play, but that's gonna give you a much better chance of winning more, more points and keep, you, keep yourself in the match. Tip number three, look for depth. Okay, I think a lot of times players uh, try to hit the ball a little bit extra hard when they're playing someone who's better, but they forget that Depth is what's actually going to let them stay in the point for a little bit longer um, Doesn't have to be hard shots as long as they're landing landing deep uh, you, you, you will not allow your opponent to actually control the court and step into the court too much um, If you don't want to be on a defensive position for for too long um, keeping the ball deep it's gonna help you. Even if you need to moonball it, man. If you need to to just find a way to hit the ball deep and not let your opponent kind of take over the court. Because again, you're not playing Roger Federer on the other side. You're playing maybe you're, you're a club opponent. Um, you're playing someone around your level uh, who, who maybe 
win an extra match or two compared to you. So if you try to keep the ball deep, um, there is a chance they're, they might have replayed. They're gonna be like, wow, like I'm trying to take control of the point, but this ball keeps landing deep, so I need to start hitting a little bit harder. They will go away uh, from their comfort zone. They might start making a few more mistakes. So depth is gonna earn you more mistakes from your opponent than just hitting the ball hard. So make sure you're, you're hitting the ball deep. So tip number four, this is a little bit trickier, but try to keep this scoreboard pressure. What I mean by that is sometimes we go play someone who's better than us and we quickly go down a hole, 3-0, 4-1, 4-0, whatever it is. And then mentally the match is kind of gone. Your opponent kind of is comfortable. Uh, you're like, wow, I have, it was already hard to beat him um, from 0-0 zero, zero. and I was, I'm down 4-0. So you're just kind of like throwing the towel um, but if you kind of keep it, you know, if you keep it close, 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, three, three, all, all of a sudden they're like, why am I not, why am I not ahead, ahead yet? They don't have that freedom to swing as, uh, as aggressively or as free as they should. And all of a sudden you're kind of like in it. You're not necessarily uh, guaranteed a win, but you know, a couple loose mistakes from your opponent and you might have a break of serve. You might win a set. Again, you might not win a match, the whole match, but um, you, you're gonna put yourself in a situation where you create a doubt. And as long as you can create that, that doubt uh, in their minds, like, oh, uh, am I gonna lose this match, maybe? Um, that's, that's all you can ask for. Uh, so, so again, trying to keep that, the match close for as long as possible, even if it's two games. If it's one all and finally you, you get broken, to all you finally get broken the guy runs away with it sometimes they're they might be too good but if you can kind of keep keep it close and create the doubt in their minds that hey maybe maybe i actually i'm not going to win this match this easily um and you're going to be much better off and tip number five and this is the last one and kind of the most cliche one but is believe believe that you can win and again it's way easier said than done. I always had this problem in my life. I think I was always good at beating players that were um, that were supposed to beat, but I had a little harder time actually beating the players that were you know, better than me or higher ranked, whatever it is. And at the end of the day, we're all players and the past doesn't matter, the future doesn't matter, it's just the right now. So whatever you can do to believe, that helps you believe that you can win is gonna be really helpful. Again, there are different levels of tennis. Sometimes you're gonna be playing someone who's much higher level than you, especially uh, when you're just beginning tennis and there's not, not really anything you can do. But, but if you are, you know, if it's close, if it's not that guy that you just like can't get over the hump, something like that, you know, just believe that you can do it. Believe that you can do it. Uh, find a way of doing it. I'm here, not here to teach you exactly how to believe. I think everyone um, has their own process. But if you just kind of go into the match thinking that you can do it, um, at least you didn't lose the match before it was even played. Okay, so focus on, on actually um, getting on the court not fully defeated and making sure that you believe that you can beat any person. So there you have it guys, these are my five tips on how to give yourself the best chance possible uh, to beat someone who's technically better than you. Obviously there are no guarantees, um, none of these tips will guarantee you to beat um, anyone, but they will help you at least give yourself a better chance. Again, remember, don't overplay, try to be consistent, keep the ball deep, okay? Keep the scoreboard pressure for as long as you can, and believe that you can win. That's the most important one. And again, thanks for watching. Um, we've been getting a lot of support from you guys in the comments. Uh, we really appreciate it and it's really pushing us into making even more content for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe, it really helps us. Visit mytennishq.com. We have a lot of articles there that I think most of you will be interested in reading. And I'll see you guys on the next one.